So I've gotten a lot of questions of how to sideload apps onto your Supernote device here. So I'm gonna give you guys the steps. And to be honest, it's a little bit involved. If you saw my Penstar video where I showed how to sideload on that device, it was pretty simple. You just get the APK file on the device and you hit install and boom, you got the APK installed on the device. But that is not going to be the case for Supernote here. You are going to need some kind of desktop machine in order to actually install the app onto this device. So don't worry about trying to install any file directly onto your Supernote device. So we're gonna get the APK and everything on a desktop and then we're gonna connect it to our Supernote, in this case, the Supernote Manta, and install the APK that way. Now we're on the MacBook here. So we're gonna download the APK file from up to down and we're gonna get the Uversion Bible app, get the latest version, Watch out for all these pop-up download buttons that are actually ads. Just make sure there's no X by them or anything like that where you're, you can cancel them out. These are not real download buttons. This one is right here. And this one includes the up to down app store. I'm actually going to allow that just so that maybe we can actually have an app store on this device. That would be kind of cool. So now that we have that APK file, I'm just going to rename it here going to call it Bible app.apk. Then we're going to be going to this developer website from Android here. This is the URL. I'll also have it in the description down below. And you're just going to pick the download for whatever platform you're on. So in my case, we are on the Mac. This is going to be how we're actually going to install the APK on our Supernote device gives you some information to go over. If you're curious about any of these terms and conditions, please read them thoroughly before you actually say that you have read and agree with them. So I am gonna go right ahead and hit download. And at this point, if you haven't already, definitely make sure your Supernote is plugged into your device. So for some reason, the USB-C to A cables work better at getting your device to show up. So I just don't want to take the chance of fiddling with it too much more than I already have. So that is what I'm going to use. I'm just going to make sure it's all nice and plugged in. So I just opened the ADB tool that is in this folder here. I had to approve it in the privacy and security settings because I did not want to open so now we're getting into the complicated part and I am trying my best to make this as simple as possible for you guys. But I had to be looking up a whole bunch of stuff too, even while making this video, trying to remember how I did it all. As you can see by this screen right here, I'm double checking some of the processes here and we're gonna have to open terminal. So terminal scares you or control panel or whatever your equivalent is on your device. Well, sorry, but that's what we're gonna have to do. Obviously, this is more Mac focused. I understand that. Ed from Organizing for Change made a video that was more focused on the Windows platform. So if you do have a Windows PC, I'd probably just stop my video right now and go check out his video. The first steps are very similar, but this is the point where it is different depending on your platform. So we're just basically doing exactly what it's showing right here on screen, which is adding this ADB to our path by typing in this exact line that I have highlighted here. So if I go to terminal and I already have that copied, so if I paste that in and just hit return, we get this panel right there. And then for this next part, we need to actually know the real path to where the platform tools is located. So we're gonna go to finder here and look at our path. If you can't see that, you need to just enable that in your view here. Just show the path bar. As you can see, this is my path down here. So I just need to make sure that is what I put instead of this line right here. Again, kind of confusing. Try and follow along as best you can. I recommend just looking up something similar to this and just following the steps there too, besides just looking at my video, I think that will help you. But either way, it's just a bit of a process. Slash users, micrograph, slash, 
downloads slash platform dash tools. So for me, this is the path that I need to have it set as. Then it says to save it, you just do control X and then Y, then enter. So in theory, that's how you get it set up as your path. So if you're with me still, then hold on, we're almost there. So next, we're refreshing the shell by typing this in. I'm just going off this web search result here and I am trusting that it is telling me everything that is right. And we're just gonna go to the next thing. All right, so I'm working on some of the kinks here. I found that the USB-C to A cable that I had did not work, but I did get one of my USB-C to C cables to work. So I don't know, if it's not connecting or seeing your device, you just try a couple different cables and hopefully one of them will work fine for you. If you wanna know if your device is actually being seen by the Mac though, you can just type in in the terminal here, ADB devices, and I do see a device right there. So basically if you're having a problem installing the APK, try that first, make sure it's even seeing your device. And now we're going to try the actual install. So type in ADB install, and then the whole file path so slash users slash micrograph downloads bible app dot apk and now it is going to install this onto our super note and this will take a few minutes or maybe just a few seconds there it goes it says success now let's see if it is really a success so now we have the up to down app store on the device it didn't seem to give me the bible app right away but we're going to see if we can use this app store to just install it through this which would be just fine with me it's kind of wanting us to go through some permissions here yeah we'll do the U version bible app this is a great example of how these apps might look on the supernote device it is not going to always be pretty when you're downloading apps that are not made for this device supernote is in no way promising that they are going to look good in any way shape or form so you're going to have to know that when you're installing them. so let me just go ahead and download this i'm going to accept that this app has some features that my device will not support we get greeted with a lovely ad install all right let's open the app so it says it won't run without Google Play services, which this device doesn't have. But basically what that means is you just can't sign into the device and sync data, which is a bit of a shame. But if you're just using it to read, which is the biggest reason for getting an app like this, well, there you go. It does work and you can scroll. Honestly, any kind of reading app, you can just stop and refresh the screen and the text looks pretty stinking good. In fact, you can even change some of the font sizes. So if I want the font a little bit bigger here, there you go. You can go to a different chapter and you can tap it and then copy it and things like that. If you wanna do highlights though, that requires signing in. So it won't do highlights and stuff. So yeah, definitely some limitations. We experiment with a couple of different apps, see which ones run the best here. But hey, now I actually have a full-fledged app store. I mean, up, down, doesn't have everything, but it's got a lot of things. I use that on my Penstar to get some of the side-loaded apps as well. And they seem pretty trustworthy. They seem to kind of verify their app to a degree at least. It's not the Google Play Store, and I kind of wish that if Supernote supports Silo, they just kind of support the Google Play Store in general. I think that would just be a safer and easier and a lot less of a headache way of getting apps sideloaded on this device. But this is a doable way if you need to do it. So yeah, the best kinds of apps I would say to install is things like other reading apps, like besides the Kindle app that's already available on Supernote's app store. So things like that would be great. This Bible app is a great reading app example. And it does kind of look like the only way to get out of the app is just to use your sidebar here and then go to something else, like a note or another thing. I don't really see like a way to close the app or anything like that. But as you can see, both these apps now are officially installed. 
you can go to the app store get some other kinds of apps or stuff like that too so you have options here and i'm always going to be a fan of supernote giving you choices and options so hopefully you followed that process well enough and again if you don't use mac os i recommend checking out ed's video organizing for change i'll have that link in the description below as well because he did a good job explaining the windows version of it and i referenced it for this video too so it's only fair that i plug him as well let me know down in the comments below if there's a certain app you want me to try on the super note device I can even make a dedicated short on just that app or something. Just let me know all that in the comments down below. Let me know if you think you're going to give this a try or if you just got completely scared by the fact that you had to go into terminal and do all these different commands and stuff. Because I don't really blame you. It's quite convoluted and very annoying of a process. So yeah, I wish if Supernote supports siloing, just put the Google Play Store on Supernote. Just put a little disclaimer there saying, hey, these apps are not optimized for the Supernote platform, but at least it will save everybody a headache if they want to get other kinds of apps. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment down below. If you like my current setup that I have to record these videos, all that is going to be linked in my description down below as well. If you like the shirt I'm wearing and want any kind of graphics tech merch, you're also going to find that in the description down below. And with that same link, you can find the product that I made for the Supernote Manta here, which is this pen loop. And I think it really improves the experience of using my Manta. I also made a whole dedicated video as to what it does and why I made it. So check that out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a great rest of your day.